Hey, what's up, guys? Jimmy here, and today I'm going to be telling you how to get the exotic weapon, the Chaperone, which is the one that's shown in the live action trailer and also does the flippy thing whenever you kind of open it up like the last word does. Now, in order to get this shotgun, first you're going to need to unlock the Jolly Holiday quest line. Now, in order to get this quest line, it's not very clear on how to get it, but. The general consistence, and I also did a whole bunch of research on this, is that you need to have at least your Crucible ranking rank 3, and also have beaten the Taken King quest line. So that's the general consensus that what you need to do to unlock this quest line. Once you do that, either the next day or at some point in time in that day, you'll get this quest line unlocked. Now, once you get that done, or at least once you get the quest line, what you're going to need to, f to do the quest line is you're going to need the last word, a shotgun of your choosing, and probably maybe a friend or two to help you out with the final strike that you have to do. So the first step in this is called the Shindig in the Crucible. Defeat Guardians in the Crucible with the last word equipped to boost your favor with Tex. Now, you don't have to kill people with the last word, but you do need to have it equipped in the Crucible. So how it breaks down is that you have to get to 100 points or 100% is how else uh, how you'll see it and for each kill that you get you get one point or one percent and but also death does stall the the increase of percentage in this particular quest line so if you get a kill let's say in the crucible it's your very first game you get a kill and you die you go back to zero so you'll need to, you'll need to maintain a positive kd while you're doing this in order to complete it but the catch is that you don't actually have to kill people with the last word you just have to have it equipped so if you have as long as you have the last word equipped you can go in there and kill people with your shotgun your rocket launcher your super your melee your grenade whatever you want to kill people with just as, as long as you have the last word equipped you will get progress and you just want to maintain a positive kd now once you do that you'll need to go to you'll need to talk to amanda pretty simple pretty basic nothing to really explain there and then you'll have to and then once you do that, step three is fiscal persuasion. You'll have to purchase a generous donation for Tex from the Crypt Dark. Now that costs about 15,000 Glimmer, so make sure that you have 15,000 Glimmer at least whenever you start doing this. And after that, talk to Amanda, and then she'll then she'll give you the actual next quest step to that actually makes you do stuff other than, you know, bug around in the tower for a little bit. The next one is Buckshot Bruiser. Use a shotgun to defeat Guardians in the Crucible and high minion level minions of the darkness. Now, I do not recommend killing people, or I do not recommend killing high level minions of the darkness because it takes forever. I tried it for a little bit, and Crucible is just so much easier. So how this breaks down on the Crucible is that for each kill, you get three points. You need to get to 100 points in order to complete this quest line so and death does not stall the progress at all you can die as many times as you want so you're going to roughly need to get about 34 kills in the crucible with the shotgun in order to complete this particular quest line now in or and after this quest you'll need to visit amanda and then the next one is two for the road you'll need to use a shotgun to defeat the shield brothers on the dreadnought which sounds very comp which is Sounds very easy, but it's a particular quest that you it's, it's actually a particular mission you have to do. The mission is that I believe light level 90 and it's also it's also the strike as well. So and it also has the epic modifier and the specialist too. So it's it's gonna be a little difficult just because there's a lot of annoying enemies. The bosses aren't actually really that hard, it's just the ads that are really kind of the pain here. But the only unfortunate thing is that let's say you kill one boss with the a shotgun, but you don't kill the other one, you'll have to keep on redoing that strike in order to get it done. So I'd recommend probably getting the bosses down and then just letting just tell your fire team, hey, I'm gonna kill them and you just kill them with your final with you just put the final rounds into them. That's why I recommend doing that's what I did it. That's how I did it. It made it a lot easier. And after you get that done, you have to go talk to Amanda, speak to her again at the tower, and then the final step is bide your time. And this that's actually the final step. The hardest thing to do in this is just that shield brother thing and probably the crucible stuff. But once you do all that stuff, you are done. You are gonna get the chaperone. So bide your time, you have to wait for a text committee to complete its select process by the next weekly reset. That just means that as long as you get this complete at some point in the week, you know, the next weekly reset you're going to get the chaperone. And that is the steps on how to get the chaperone. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button for me please. And also if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm out.